So last night, sometimes I wake up at like four in the morning after pee, so I get up to go. And I, for some reason, when I go back to bed, I always have like a thought or something. Like, um, and I always know I'm going to forget it the next morning, so I have to force myself to like text myself this message or whatever, because I'm like, oh, this would make a great video. Okay, I'm going to text it. All right, okay, bedtime. You know, not a great video, but you know, when you're half asleep, you're kind of like, what a good idea. And then you wake up and you're like, the idea is kind of hazy, but when you were first thought of it, you're like, oh, I have all these ideas for it. I don't, and, but you're still half asleep, but it feels like dreamy, kind of in a sense. And then you wake up and I'm like, okay, so what exactly? I have written in my phone image and then two names of two women who run two Etsy shops on two pagan Etsy shops. And that's it. <laughs> and I remember writing it and everything. I remember the image I had in my head, but the thoughts and everything aren't that clear anymore. But I'm going to talk about what I do remember. So it was about image. So like when I look at different people's Etsy shops, um, sometimes they'll say like, I am a priestess of this and I have a fourth degree in this and all this other stuff. And they have all these like huge backgrounds and then like they sometimes I read them and I'm like okay I can kind of see that they seem like they like they've really worked at this and they've had this shop for years I can see them studying hmm yeah I'll take that and other times it's like they pop out of these shops out of nowhere completely copying everybody else and they're like I am the greatest ever and I'm like no this all feels like lies 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 but then people are like wow I'm buying a candle from a, a high priestess and all this other stuff and I'm like you don't know what kind of training she went through you don't know if she's lying well I'm just saying she because the majority of these shops are run by women um it's easier to just say she um you don't know anything about these people so why are you believing everything that they say so I've had friends tell me before like well, why don't you put that you're our minister or something I was like because everybody can be that you sign up for it and like 24 hours later they email you back and they're like okay you're in our system you're this you can start training for other things if you want to start doing all these different stuff like but um other than that you can do weddings and stuff now yay and I'm like anybody can do that why would I put that as a title that's not even like a feel like title that I really feel in my core they're like I am this I am a minister you know um I know some people do that originally and then they go to different schools and gets different kinds of schooling and stuff so that they can work in hospitals and whatnot. I have a couple friends who do that and I think it's pretty cool. Um, so that when people like to be chaplains at the hospital and whatnot. Um, but some of these people, and it's weird because some people don't put anything at all. Like they don't want you to know anything about them. But there's always this thing like that... Um, makes me think of like when you're not supposed to tell people your secrets kind of thing and tell people who anything really about you or your practice you just kind of make your stuff and go on and I was like hmm there's magic in this and <laughs> I'm not really but it depends on the person and the individual I don't like people who we meet them and they spew out their titles or they have title wars I've been in one of those before or not been like in the middle of one but around one and I'm just kind of like are you kidding are you kidding really oh well, I'm a high priestess and I've done this for three years I'm like high priestess after three years Personally, my own personal opinion, if you're going to, like, I know the most Wiccans and everything like that just do, like, the three years, and uh, if your teacher thinks you're ready, then you can be high priestess or whatever. I don't see it that way. I'm sorry if I offend people, because I know a lot of people hold on to their titles of all their heart, and they feel fantastic with these titles. And if it's empowering, then that's good, but no. High priestess to me, probably you've been studying nonstop for 20 years and devoted your entire life to it. I like to look at it like... When I think of like old priestesses, priestesses old, whatever, I think, I don't know, I haven't done too much research, but trying to think of like, you dedicate your life to it, basically, if you're going to be a priestess. Because when you're somebody goes, you're high priestess. Even me and my, my mom have talked about this before. She's said like, how can you be a high priestess? You're supposed to be a high priestess. Somebody can go to you with any questions and you should be able to answer them all. You should be able to help them with different things. You may have had training in basics, but that doesn't make you a high priestess. I mean, once you've dedicated yourself, some people consider that, okay, now you're a priestess since you've dedicated yourself. Okay. Like my friend says I'm a priestess of Freya. And I don't like that title, but for a lot of people that would be true because I've dedicated myself to her for now. Because she's called on me or whatever. Uh, well, she's always there <laughs> now. She's been poking at me for a while. I did a video on this before, though. And, um, finally gave in. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so what if I was going to go to a high priestess for anything, I'd go, try to go to someone who's been studying for like 20 years. That's just a basic number, I'm, or a number I'm just pulling out. But it's somebody who's really giving themselves over to it. I wouldn't, I could ask advice from friends and people who studied, like, hey, what do you think? Or, hey, I know you've practiced this, blah, blah, blah. But if I was going to really follow somebody, 
I would want them to have a lot of knowledge, not just a couple years of, when I get off work sometimes, once a week maybe, I'll read a page or two of this one book by Stoker Ravenwolf, you know, <laughs> but, um, so on my Etsy, anyway, getting back to it, so on my Etsy page, I don't really say much other than like, hey, I practice hoodoo, and I'm a Norse influenced animist, because everybody needs a, nobody will just take you as like, well, I kind of follow this and this and this, you have to have like a name for what you follow, so I just say I'm a Norse influenced animist who practices hoodoo. Um, and that's it. But, um, I don't really feel like that's the best wording for that. But there is no real wording for it because I don't, there's no specific thing that I'm really clinging to. I do follow the Norse gods, but I see them maybe a little bit differently than some other people do. So, yeah. Um, I wanted to really get in depth in this video, but I'm having a hard time because I'm, 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 people are coming to pick me up right now, so I'm kind of like, the hesitation, like, hey, hurry up, hurry up, they can be here in a minute, and my phone just vibrated, so I'm like, they could be here! <laughs> so, but... Um, I, I don't mean to offend anybody with my views or anything, and I wasn't even really that offensive. I just kind of was saying that I don't believe in the three years your high priestess thing. And I work with a coven. I do teach these classes with them and everything, Then they do follow this sort of thing. So it's okay. I mean, it depends on your path. It just personally, for me, I can't, I would never call myself that. I couldn't really give myself titles. And my friends are like, these people give themselves titles. You should give yourself titles too. Maybe you'll sell more things or whatever. And I'm like, it feels wrong. Like, like... Like, I put bad juju on all my items if I did that. If I said, like, I'm a priestess. But then again, most people would see me as such if because I've dedicated my life to certain things and I've studied things. I've been a pagan since I was 12. And I'm 23 now. I'm about to be 24. And, um, and my mom's pagan, so I kind of grew up sort of in a pagan household. Not really when I was too younger because there was a lot of chaos with my dad and everything. But uh, once I came out to my mom, like, hey, mom, I'm kind of like, I've been having dreams about things and it's kind of been leading me towards this. And I think I'm kind of interested. And then she opened up to me. So it's funny. I came out to my mom. She came out to me. <laughs> her, her boyfriend or yeah, her boyfriend at the time. I don't know if they're engaged or not, but he's gone, whatever. Um, that uh, he was tra practicing Druidism too. Or Druidism. That sounds so wrong. I think I'm saying it wrong. Druidry? Druidism. He was practicing those druid things. Okay. And I don't know. She was following a Celtic path. And um, at first I didn't really know what kind of path I wanted to follow. I was just kind of like, oh, here's a god and goddess. There's no real specifics. And then eventually, uh, a couple years ago, I had a dream about... I found Frau Holda, Frau Holda in a forum. And I was kind of like, this woman is awesome. Or this deity is awesome. Like, there's something fantastic about her. And I started having dreams about Thor. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> I guess this path's for me. And so and then Freya shows up later and I'm like... Yeah, I'm not one of those people that uh, different deities from different pantheons like to pick on. Apparently, <laughs> they're all coming from they're all stemming from the same one, I guess. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, I want to talk another. I'm probably gonna do another video on this because I feel like I really cut this one short. But uh, so, thank you for watching this one, and I'd like to know your thoughts. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna get a lot of people going if they comment. Um, like, I'm a high priestess. How dare you or something? But. It's personal, not our personal opinion. So I know there's some people who believe that we are all gods and goddesses, and that there's no deity above us because we are the living, you know, uh, we're the little bits of the universe that created all these deities. And so there's other people who have different, completely different thoughts, even from you and I, maybe or whatever. And uh, so yeah, so don't take it too harshly. <laughs> okay. So thank you for watching.